Minister, my purpose standing here today is to talk to you about what works well. What works well? Because you know we have a serious problem across the country. Half of Ireland has been underwater. One lesson we must learn. In 2009, anyone that was flooded then and has re-flooded in 2015, let's face it, the state let them down, Minister. And any works that rely on the election cycle is going to fail the people. The state must take on the responsibility for the works that need to be done, regardless of the government that's in power. I can talk about homes and money more in Oranmore, in my own parish, that were flooded and in terrible shape in 2009. They didn't re-flood, Minister, because the works were done by the OPW. And here's how it happened. I called a meeting, a public meeting, of all the farmers in that area and all the homeowners. And the OPW was there, the National Parks and Wildlife, the County Council. We got all the agencies in, in the one room. The OPW agreed to lead. The National Parks and Wildlife could see the misery these people were, were in. We had the local river dredged behind Cluck Oak because um, that, was, that was a problem. And the, o, the, OP, the National Parks and Wildlife did oblige. Then we went on and I had one wonderful farmer. I'll put his name on record here. His name is John Brennan. And he led the farmers. And he worked with the OPW. And over a series of years, those drainage works were done and the water was taken to the sea. And it worked. And those people are deeply grateful. We had some successful works in Clare Galway. We had others that weren't. And unfortunately, the works weren't finished there. I am very concerned about humanitarian, the humanitarian fund and that it might be means tested. This happened after 2009. People failed to get the support they needed. We had one loss of life through suicide as a result of a very slow relocation process. And it's well known locally, and it really saddened me that for three years, all of us, every public representative in Galway represented that family, and as soon as that loss of life happened, that person, that family got the home. Replanting native trees, and there's research to support this, in upland areas, and incentivizing farmers to be flood protectors, is working in other countries. In Wales, Minister, there's a project called the Pont Brain Project, P-O-N-T-B-R-E-N. It was led by Bangor University, in conjun and, and it was farmer-led, by planting 5% only of their uplands, their hilly areas, with broadleaf native trees, native species. They have improved flooding by 29%. We need to look very seriously at doing that here. The Woodland League have brought this information to me. And native trees, this is the news, with their deep roots can absorb water 67 times faster than grasslands, Minister. 67 times faster. So, for example, South Galway is ruined, as you know. I mean, I'm the chair of Yates Tour Belly Lee. I spoke to you about that in another film. The water is now up to the thatch. Cool Park, the thatch and the house. I mean, I have pictures when we brought in... Sir Bob Geldof there recently to help us. He's doing a, a documentary on Yates and he's fronting it, but the only way we could show him Yates' home was in a boat. Cool Park, the former home of Lady Gregory, is absolutely ruined. The water is right up on the autograph tree where all the famous poets and literary figures that she was a patron to um, have signed. But the point I'm making is if Derry Brine and Schlieve Octi that upland area, if that was replanted with, up, uh, with um, native trees, that would soak the water before it flows downhill. Now, we need to incentivise our farmers to be flood protectors, because naturally enough, the farmers own the land. But there's such a will out there right now, Minister. There's such good will to, to, to really improve this. And I've listened to Sen Senator Landy, I've listened to Senator Mooney. They all have mountains. They all have hilly areas in their environs. Let's plant them. But you've got to get culture on side and you have a problem here, Minister. The research is coming from the Coford and UCD reports that we want 30% broadleaf criteria. So you should be planting in, through afforestation in new planting on virgin ground and reforestation after clear felling, harvesting um, a tree crop. You should be planting the native variety like oak, like mountain ash, like willow, and there's other varieties of native tree as well. So, Minister, will you seriously, seriously look at that criteria of 30% broad leaf? Let me tell you this. Culture is a state, a semi-state agency. It owes the state as well as their shareholders. 
So the state also needs to look at sustainable solutions. We know drainage works work when you can bring the water to the sea. We know flood defences help, but now we must work with our environment minister. So how can we ignore the importance of this evidence? It's working in Norway as well. They have 50% less flooding because they are heeding the evidence around planting in the upland Edward areas, Senator. but only trees with deep roots. Ex Thank you very and much. they are our native species. After all, we were traditionally a woodland people.